This is Captain Felara Raid, a free trader Celestial Crow. If anyone's out there, I need help. I read you, Captain. What's the situation? Ship's engines burned out. Power cells fading. Losing life support. Can't hold out much longer. I am drifting into a sun. I need help getting my engines going. I'll pay if you help with repairs. Music to my ears. You should have mentioned the reward first. Don't have much, but it's all yours. Transmitting my coordinates now. Please hurry. Will do. Travel to the Celestial Crow. Right here. Apparently. to be nosy, but is there some reason we're docking with a decrepit starship in the middle of nowhere? Someone's in trouble? We're here on a rescue mission. And who's gonna rescue us if things go wrong? I won't tell you how to run your ship, but what am I supposed to do if you don't come back? Boarding another vessel in deep space is tricky. A million things can go wrong. Yeah, I'll be fine. You know how careful I am. When you're this far out in space, careful is beside the point. You're at least planning to take some muscle, right? You do have a Wookiee? Good point. I'll have Bodar tag along. Good. Your odds of surviving just tripled. Good luck over there. I hope you don't need it. I'm actually going to be switching to Bodar now, so that's pretty good. Like him a bit more than Corso. No, Corso's not bad. Let's see. Bodar. Fine. Could use some shut eye. <laughs> Hey, Bodar. It's a new tank. Is nowhere near as satisfying as the sniper one. The penetrating rounds. The sniper's version is so much better sounding. Let's kill the rest of these droids. Fay Lara. And she's got a shield. Of some sort. Hi there. Was starting to think you wouldn't show. Well, let's get to work. We'll have this ship of yours fixed in no time. I might have exaggerated a teensy bit about the damage. Oh, this is harder than I thought it would be. You remind me of my sister. And I really like her. Just so you know, this isn't personal. I have to kill you. But it's for love. Well, that's a new one. Nobody's ever tried to kill me for love before. <laughs> it's romantic, right? See this wavy light around my body? It's a ray shield. 
blaster fire can't get in or out. <laughs> Neat, huh? Um, yeah. I'll be going now. Nice trick. See you around. Sorry, I magnetically sealed all the hatches behind you. <laughs> Shh, quiet. I have to make a call. Rude. Skavik? We're talking. <laughs> it's me, Felara. Surprise. Uh, long time no see, sweetheart. How'd you get this hollow frequency? Does it matter? I've missed you so much, honey bunch. Makes two of us. I miss you too, honey bunch. What is this, Captain? You making an army out of my ex-girlfriends? It's not like that at all. This is your nemesis, right? The captain who stole your ship on Coruscant and made you look stupid? I'll let you two talk. Why don't I leave you lovebirds alone? You got a better idea. I'll leave. Can't think of a better punishment for you. Don't be like that. You know you love me. You're just afraid of commitment. I can prove how much I love you, honey bunch. I'm killing this nemesis for you. Get her, boys. Um, okay. It's just a Wow, you're really good. Thanks. That's what they tell me. You're not the first to notice. I thought for sure I had enough droids to kill you. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> uh, let's just call this even. With my ray shield on, you can't hurt me. Hey, Lara, how are you powering that ray shield? Portable battery pack. You know those only last a few minutes, right? Oh no. Love that oh no. Huh. Guess your three minutes are up. <gasps> Honey bunch, my shield is down. What am I gonna do? I don't know. Die? Kill you later, Captain. Honey bunch, wait! He he hung up! I thought he loved me! I should go. I'd better get moving. Sure, go. Just like he did. I won't stop you. The hatches are unsealed! Okay then. Guess we'll be moving on to the next planet. Now that we're done with the interlude. Might have one Might have one more mission before we actually begin the next set of planets. Let me guess. It was a trap. That was fine. Everything went well. No problems at all. Seriously, I've been in this business too long. It's making me paranoid. Definitely. You worry too much. I've heard so many stories about fake distress calls. I guess they're not all traps. Let's get out of here. Deep space gives me the creeps. I've set up some new deals on Alderaan and Tatooine. Ready to deliver the rest of this cargo? It's the head. I can't wait to meet the buyer of that severed head. Then I recommend setting course for Alderaan first. Let me know when we're there. Kinda weird how they have that video lengthen a bit too long. Severed head. Going to Tatooine or Alderaan. Alderaan is after Tatooine in the chronological. Chronological order for missions. So we're gonna go to Tatooine first. 
Let's go ahead and track you. Speak to Butter. You should have. But it saved me a bundle. <laughs> Stuff at home. Well, enjoy your freedom. I saved you the big bunk. Tell me what a Wookiee might want to buy. I could arrange a run there. Why you? I can't imagine Wookiees make good slaves. I do like Wookiees. It's a shame they never added Kashyyyk to that to the game. So, how'd you end up out here, Captain? Was there ever a time you wanted something more normal? A husband, kids, someone to take care of you? Not a chance. I take care of myself. Always have, always will. I'm not trying to start anything, Captain. Just thinking about a guy I met in the brigade, a merc. Fought for the Republic for 20 years. I was 16, fresh off the ship. This guy gave me my first blaster. Your first blaster? I thought you country boys grow up shooting. I mean, sure, I'd handled a hunting rifle, but never anything aimed at people. This guy told me, gun's just a tool. You use it to destroy, or you use it to protect against those who would destroy you. Yes, it meant a lot to you. And you took it to heart. Made me think different about guns. You can't protect the people you love if you're afraid to get your hands dirty. I brought Torchy home and my parents made me lock her up, told me not to wish away peace. I didn't have her when the Separatists came. Boy, Captain, life with you is almost enough to get me missing the good old days. Ah, for Ord Mantel, where Separatists were bad and guns were good and we could just run in shooting. Has something changed? I'm not noticing a drop-off in our rate of running in and shooting. Yeah, we just have to do so much thinking first. Why don't we have more fun on this ship? Back home, when we needed a laugh, we used to run the Rontos in circles, then see if they could charge us without falling over. We have lots of fun. Hopefully. Hey, what about that time Risha gave Bodar a bath? <laughs> that was good fun. Hey, hey, maybe we could shave Bodar while he's sleeping. Bet he's not nearly as impressive without all that hair. What do you say? Just give me the word. That's a bad idea. Be funny to see. I never like asking for favors, Captain, but I think maybe we know each other well enough by now. I want to look for my cousin Rona. She's all the family I got left, and I think she should know what happened. You got a cousin? Wasn't your whole family killed on Ord Mantel? Rona came with me when I left for the brigade, but she jumped ship at the first port. All she ever wanted was to get off Ward Mantel. I thought maybe we could track her down. You'd like her. She's really the reason I'm here. 
Just tell me when and where. You two will be back together before you can say a verbal thurs vibra blade. Uh, a verbal... Th verbal... <sighs> so not that soon, then. Rona was kind of our family rebel. We used to have a blast together. She liked me to run interference, so her father never caught her on dates with off-worlders. That's a switch for you. I thought you were all about protecting the poor women folk. Well, yeah. My uncle would have given her a walloping if he'd known the kind of men she was with. I remember one time, uncle came looking for Rona while she was on the shuttle pod with some Agamarian pirate. I was about 12. I didn't know how else to distract uncle, so I started to fight. Got the whole ship confiscated. I never did find out how Rona got out of city jail. I found someone who knows my cousin Rona. He's a street doctor in Coruscant. Kind of a shady character, but that's who Rona always drifted to. I think he really can get us to her, but... It's always a but. I know a scam when I hear one. Rona loved to walk that line. Every time Uncle caught her stealing, it would turn out she was sneaking cash to some mom with two kids on the street. She's the reason I know breaking the law has got nothing to do with being a good man. Let's just go to Coruscant and, and hear a friend out. Go ahead and ask for cash for the job if you want. I just I want to find Rona. Sure. Looks like we're not going to Tatooine. Instead, we're going to go to Coruscant. Find this Rona. Speak to Dr. Hope. Welcome back, Master. If you detect the aroma of Alderanian nectar, Travel for me. I can, but I don't know where I'm going, so. Okay, let's see. Plans are currently open for business. We are going to the Galactic Mark. So let's go there. Dr. Hope. Of course we're right. Of course we do. Forgot about that. Let's have us some fun, Captain. It is his mission. Ah, Captain and Corso Riggs. It's good to meet such generous souls in a place like this. I'm Dr. Hope. I like to think of myself as a messenger of mercy, caring for the poor, forsaken citizens of the underlevels. We don't need the pitch. Just tell us what you know about Rona. I'd be happy to, but as a doctor, I must put the needs of my patients first. What do you need? I'll listen for now. Right, so I've got some uh, life saving medications that need delivering. What do you need? Unfortunately, mean? Coruscant Security only cares about the rich. They don't let anyone distribute uh, medications in the underlevels at all. Where do I come in? Tell me what I can do. Well, I don't want to get you or me into trouble with the law. The only way to get my meds down without getting stopped is to carry them inside a living body. What? They'll be safely stored in surgical plastic and implanted under the skin. My, uh, nurse can remove them on the other end. I've done crazier things. Captain I used to serve with. He once swallowed a whole shipment of grenades to keep them under wraps. This isn't half bad. <laughs> I wish I had a hundred just like you, Captain. This was always Rona's kind of thing. Breaking the law to do good under the nose of a corrupt authority. It's worth it if I get to see her. I'll just need you to come with me a moment, Master Riggs. Perfect. 
Not a good These sign. vials should stay sealed for at least 12 hours, no problem. I'll tell my contact, uh, nurse, to expect you. When we get back, Rona better be waiting. Yeah, totally. Totally not smuggling drugs or anything. I say it's just our territory. And hope I'm correct. That's the only place that I can think of being high security. I guess it's not. Black Sun territory. Better if it wasn't here. A bit more believable. Yeah, well, we got a bit of a bit of a way to go, so I'm supposed to see you when we get there. Okie dokie. Time to find Big Chan, the nurse. You bring goods? Doctors say two people. Look out. Now time. Cut out spice. Still not did she a say spice? She did. What'd you expect? You thought we were smuggling cough syrup? I knew we didn't have the whole story. I just hoped there was some core truth to it. That he really was helping the people here. You used us! If you weren't a lady, you'd... I gotta go have a word with your boss. I not speak basic. You say, take spice away? Good spice. I give good money. Big... Uh, how you say, cut? We're not asking for a bigger cut, you idiot. Forget it, Corso. Let's deal with our messenger of mercy. Definitely. This is going to be your last shipment, lady. Get a job. In front, Dr. Hope. I'll travel all the way back there. Dealer's Den Cantina. Did the delivery go well? Yeah, we did your dirty work, you fraud. Now where's my cousin? I doubt he knows. I'd be shocked if this piece of trash can answer that. You're looking for Rona Riggs, right? Well, she's the one who thought you two would be right for the job. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Just like the old days, eh, cuz? Of course, I'm a little more big time now than Ma and Pa ever would have allowed. I'm not impressed. You look pretty small time to me. I'm the underboss for the Black Suns on this part of Coruscant. Not bad, considering five years ago I was shoveling Ronto dung. The Black Suns? You're... a gang member? Gang leader. You think I should ride home? Make Ma and Pa proud? Your parents are dead. Sorry to be the one to tell you, but Corso's the only family you've got. They're all dead, Rona. Separatists got them. Ha! <laughs> After all that grousing about the big dangerous galaxy? Guess that showed them. How can you say that? Don't you care? We obviously came just in time. Come on, Rona. We're getting you out of here. Poor chivalrous little Corso. Don't you get it? I don't need to be rescued. I chose this life. There's only two ways out of that life, sweetheart. With us, or in a body bag. This isn't what you wanted, Rona. We talked about wild adventures, not smuggling spice. You wanted to be like the captain, right? Thumb your nose at society and use your freedom to make a difference. You can still do that. It was a nice dream. But this is where I woke up. I'm sorry I dragged you into it. Go with your captain. Maybe you two can 
show me how to make a better life. Okay then. Seems we're done with this conversation for the time being and out of time for the day. So, thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day. We'll see you next time.